Hi, doll fans. This is Miss Carla from Gladfelter Memorial Library. That's a York County library. And this is our American Girl Craft Party. I am so excited that you could join us today. We have so much fun in store for us. First, we're going to play some games. Then we're going to do a craft. And then we're going to finish things off with an American Girl dance party. I am so excited. So everybody grab your favorite doll, hold them close, and let's get ready to go. Are you ready to play our first game? For this game, we are going to come up with some doll themed books and movies. So the first thing you need to do is think of the title of your favorite book or movie. And then you're going to take out one word and replace it with the word doll. So I might say that my favorite book is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Doll. Or I could say my favorite movie is Snow White and the Seven Dolls. Do you understand how it works? Okay, so you're gonna put your answers in the comment section of this video. Is everybody ready? Go. For this next game, I'm gonna test your knowledge to see how well you know the historical dolls. I'm going to ask a question and then you can shout out your answer or you can put it in the comment section and you wanna to try to guess before I post the answer. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's go. If you said Josefina Montoya, you are correct. Josefina is a 10-year-old girl living on her family's ranch near Santa Fe. That's back when that part of the country was still part of Mexico. Josefina's stories are an important part of the history of New Mexico, and they take place before the Mexican-American War of 1848. Did you guess Samantha Parkington? Very good. Samantha is a 10-year-old girl growing up in 1904 in New York City. Her stories center on the differences between the treatment of rich and poor during the turn of the century. Her stories also focus on the changing roles of women as they fought for their right to vote. If you said Julie Albright, give yourself a pat on the back. Julie's story takes place in 1975. Much like now, the 70s were a time when lots of people were fighting for equality. Equality means that everyone is treated equally and everyone has the same rights, regardless of race, gender, religion, or things like that. Julie herself fights for women's rights as she petitions for her right to play on the boys' basketball team because there isn't a girls' team at her school. That was awesome. You guys really know your American Girl history. Do you know what time it is now? It's craft time. So go and gather your materials and meet me back here. We're going to be making no so doll shoes. First, gather your materials. You're going to need one shoe out of cardboard, one out of foam, one out of tape, and three pieces of tape, one five inches, one four inches, and one three inches. You will need this for each shoe. First, you're going to take your five inch strip of tape and fold it three quarters of the way down. Smooth it out. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut 
small lines in the tape where the sticky side is out, creating fringe. This is going to help your shoe come together more smoothly. Once you have it cut out, you're going to take your cardboard sole and press it in the center of the piece of tape. Then you're going to individually smooth each little fringe down and stick it to the bottom of your shoe. Do them one at a time so everything will come out smoothly. Once you are done, you can move on to your next piece of tape. Take your four inch piece of tape and put your three inch piece of tape in the center of it. Line it up so that there aren't any sticky edges on the top or the bottom. There should only be sticky on the side. If you have any left over where it is sticky, you can cut it. Next, you're going to take it and place it on your shoe. This would be a good time to get your doll and to use her to make sure the shoe fits properly. So you're going to take it over and bend it so the sticky pieces go to the bottom of the shoe. Now you can take the shoe off your doll. Next you're going to take the top of the shoe and fold it as you would a present. Smoothing the edges as you go. You're going to hold it in place while you get your piece of tape. If it's not lying smoothly, you might want to cut small lines into where you're folding so that the creases will fold better. Once you've done that, you can refold the shoe and tape the bottom. Smooth your tape across the bottom of the shoe. For your final step, you can glue the foam to the bottom of the shoe like a sole. If you want, you can decorate your shoes. Did you enjoy the craft? Once you learn the basic shoe, you can make all sorts of variations. You can make tennis shoes, you can make sandals, whatever you can imagine. Are you ready for the final part of our party? This is my favorite part. Grab your dolls and get ready to groove because this is our dance party.